everyone. It's Miss Brandon from the Benjamin Branch of the Greensboro Public Library. But I'm not in the library right now. Can you tell where I am? I'm at a lake. I'm at Lake Higgins, which is one of our city of Greensboro lakes. It's the smallest of the three lakes we have, but it has a lot going on. I'm here to meet with one of my friends, Jennifer Phelps, who works for the Parks and Recreation Department as an environmental educator. Hey Jennifer, thanks so much for joining us today. What are some things that kids and parents could do if they come here to your park? At Lake Higgins, there are several things you can do with your family. Uh, one of the things is you can come and go fishing. You are allowed to fish from our pier and you're also allowed to fish from a boat. That can be your own boat if you bring your own boat to go fishing in, or you can also rent a boat here at Lake Higgins to go fishing in. Um, some of the other things that we have here at Lake Higgins are other types of boat rentals like kayaks and canoes and go out on the lake and, uh, and paddle around in a kayak. Uh, we do have a trail that goes uh, along the length of the lake. So whether you're on the trail or on the water, you can always possibly see some wildlife. What kind of animals might kids see if they come here? So if you come to Lake Higgins, the first thing that you are obviously going to see would maybe be fish. Other things that you're going to see here is birds. We have a lot of different types of birds that like to live and, and fly around the lake. Um, one of those is a great blue heron. Um, they make their nests high up in the trees right next to the lake and then they go in search for fish during the day and in search for more sticks to build up their nests. Uh, one of the really cool birds that we see sometimes is a bald eagle. So we do have bald eagles that live around the lakes here in Greensboro. We also have osprey that fly around sometimes here at the lake. So we have a lot of different types of things that you can see here. And then we have some things that you can't see, but you might see some signs of them. <laughs> what kinds of signs could people find of those animals? Some of the animals uh, that live around Lake Higgins, they don't like to be seen by humans and so they stay pretty hidden and they're pretty good at staying hidden. Um, but we might see signs of them some places. And one of these animals would be a beaver. So we do have beavers here, mostly at the upper end of the lake where it gets very shallow uh, and small. And sometimes you can see a tree that has been chewed on by a beaver. So it's still standing, but it's been chewed on. You can see the teeth marks. Thanks so much, Jennifer. That's awesome. How did you learn so much about animals? Um, I learned a lot about animals from reading books and from doing some of my schoolwork. Um, I have done a lot of uh, classes on environmental education and checking out books from the library. Before we leave, what's your favorite animal? And my favorite animal would probably be an owl. In Greensboro, in, in this area where we live in, we have um, four different types of owls that are pretty common and you might actually get to see them and hear them. There are some neighborhoods in Greensboro where you can hear them a lot at night and they have a very distinct call. Owls are very good hunters. They're very good predators. A predator is an animal that likes to hunt other types of animals. And owls have very sharp talons. They have very good eyesight in the dark and so they're able to do their hunting at night and they like to hunt for little small animals. And owls are just really cool. <laughs> Let's look at some images of some of these animals that Jennifer said we could find here at Lake Higgins. There are catfish and rainbow trout blue herons, bald eagles, osprey, beaver, signs of beavers, barred owls, and barn owls, the eastern screech owl, and a great horned owl. Another animal that can be found here at the lake are frogs. As a matter of fact, I think we know a rhyme about frogs. A rhyme about five green and speckled frogs. Does that sound familiar? Five green and speckled frogs. Can you start off by counting to five with me? One, two, three, four, five. Let's do this. Five green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. 
Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool. Whee! Splash! Where it was nice and cool. Now there are five minus one is one, two, three, four green speckled frogs. Bloop, bloop. Four green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool. Whee! Splash! Where it was nice and cool. Now there are four minus one is one, two, three green speckled frogs. Bloop, bloop. Three green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool. Whee! Splash! Where it was nice and cool. Now there are three minus one is one, two green speckled frogs. Bloop, bloop. Two green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool. Whee! Splash! Where it was nice and cool. Now there are two minus one is one green speckled frog. Bloop, bloop. One green and speckled frog sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool. Whee! Splash! Where it was nice and cool. Now there are one minus one is none. No green speckled frogs. Boo-hoo! Thanks for joining me here at the park. I hope you had a good visit. Don't forget, the Greensboro Public Library is open online all day, every day, with downloadable ebooks, audiobooks, movies, music, and more. Thank you.